my name is Stephen Van Order. My role here is COO, so mostly it's operations, day-to-day -day stuff. I help with the tech support when the tech support team gets overwhelmed. Mostly my job is to find things that don't exist anymore on the open market. We support a lot of older vehicles and sometimes things for those older vehicles are really, really hard to find. Uh, so I, I spend a lot of time hunting things down. But usually it's uh, helping the engineering team uh, with whatever tasks. I, I kind of oversee some of that and, and help them out where I can. My dad's a big racer. He's you know been a mechanic his whole life, so I grew up around it. So that was actually really easy because he went racing every weekend and he took me with him and you know, I just kind of naturally grew into it. Why AmpiFI is because I like the do-it-yourself nature of some of the early kit products. I like the challenge of putting things together and figuring out why what I built doesn't work. So that's what, what I really liked about the product line in the beginning. I actually am I'm doing something that I enjoy doing on a daily basis. Nobody loves doing customer support stuff, but it is satisfying to, you know, help a customer get what they need when they need it or to help them with an issue. But what I really love most is when we get a really rowdy, you know, car in and I, I get to put my keyboard skills to work on the dyno. That's what I prefer. We are, you know, a genuinely, you know, we're one of the small businesses in America. You know, we've got 15 employees. We make everything here in the United States. So we make, we, we try and be as, as made in USA as possible. Um, we do everything here. We uh, only use uh, manufacturers from the United States when possible. Um, so that's kind of, I feel like what, what helps set us apart from some of our competitors is the, the human touch. You know, when you buy an ECU, the EC, every ECU gets a birth certificate, right? And that, yeah, birth certificates uh, basically like, you know, who assembled it and who tested it. And this says, yes, you know, this was done with care. Um, and, you know, you also get, uh, basically it's a guarantee that someone, uh, someone, a part of my team actually took the time to make sure that everything functions appropriately before that goes out the door. The future of the industry is in pretty big flux right now. There's a big push for electrification uh, of automobiles, but if you're not a petrol head, if you're, if you're not you know, a car guy, you're usually not into racing anyway. But that doesn't scare us at all here, actually. You know, you number of our engineering team, you know, they drive an electric car back and forth to work because that would, that's what makes sense to, for them. You go to the, the track, you go to any given weekend at AMP or Road Atlanta here, and you'll find Teslas on track with you. You know, it's just, it's a car guy thing. If it's fast, we're gonna race it. We would like to break into the, that electric market and, and make some controllers for that. And, and we plan on doing that in the future. But right now what we're doing is we're, we're looking to take our, our product line has a lot of history and we're just trying to take that product line and give it the necessary updates and continue forwarding the product line uh, to a point where uh, you can use it on, on nearly anything. That, that really is the goal, is to continue making affordable engine management for, for people who want to go racing. We try and have like a little bit of a family vibe going on. Um, you'll notice we're, we're pretty casual unless, you know, something's you know, really important is happening. But uh, the goal here is actually just to, to have fun. Uh, if you're not having fun at your job, what's the point? So we go racing with the staff often, you know, um, of course, when you're making things for race cars, the only way to do R&D is to actually take them and go racing. So um, we make sure that uh, anyone part of the staff that wants to do that gets to do that. The goal is to make things for the market that the market wants and to have fun while we do it. That ultimately is the goal. Uh, my name is Curtis Warren. I'm the CEO of uh, AMP EFI. Um, I'm the original founder as well of the Digital Dash EFI before we kind of uh, did the acquisition. Um, I started in with cars uh, when I was a little kid. 
Um, back when I was about five, six years old or so, my uncle and everything was heavy into Fox Body Mustangs. So we sat there and rebuilt them, souped them up, sent them off and built more. So that was kind of our uh, go-to thing. And then of course, as soon as I started driving, I started doing it my own self and then kind of kept going down the path of where we are now. I needed something to, uh, this factory ECU of mine crashed. Um, I had blown capacitors and everything inside of it. So I needed a replacement ECU for my particular uh, vehicle that I had. And so I picked up that particular ECU, got it all tuned and everything out of it, but then of course wanted to be able to keep doing more and more. I always like tinkering. So I needed something to be kind of be able to play with. Most of it's in, in all honesty, is to do what we all wanted to do in the kind of the racing and motorsport community. We all wanted to have fun and go do either drag racing or drifting or road course racing, any of that kind of stuff. Um, but we need vehicles to be able to do so. So that's kind of what drove us to that is be able to have all the different product lines and be able to provide that out to our customers and everything. So I wanted to be able to do the exact same thing and that's what drove us to this is because I had the same mindset and thought process they did. In my personal opinion, it is everything's done here in the U.S. Everything nowadays is all just being shipped off uh, offshore. There is no personal relationships with anybody. Um, so you call up somebody, you're going to get somebody from somewhere else. You really can't talk to a real person or they run you through some automated process. That was kind of one of our big driving factors is try to help fix a lot of that particular piece. But also a lot of these things are just outpricing everything. Um, they're not making anything affordable. And that was some of the things that personally as my own race cars and everything I work with, I needed something I could be able to buy to be able to actually do the things I wanted to. And spending a couple thousand to a few thousand dollars was not my budget to do so. I see things um, growing more. Um, we seeing more different types of racing come out. Uh, the goals and everything out of it was is trying to help support any and all of those particular scenarios that they have but also provide as many different solutions to uh, the different types of vehicles or situations that they have. So that's kind of our kind of main goal is give you as much as you possibly can at a good affordable price is kind of our goal, but it was trying to make it simple. A lot of these projects and, and components nowadays is extremely hard to use and or they don't have a lot of support in doing those particular pieces. So we are trying to re-engineer some of these items to make it even simpler than they were before. For us, we want to get more into more of the organizations and more racing. Historically, we're trying to bring in a lot of our engineering staff and be able to do a lot of the in-house testing our own selves, get at, back onto the track a lot more um, than they have historically and kind of grow that item out, but also being able to be out with our particular customers themselves. They are doing a lot of the events Historically, uh, we're trying to be able to be at those events or be part of those events and trying to help and uh, encourage uh, future development of uh, the current customer base, but also new coming in. Hi, my name is Carl Eichel and I am a superlative fixer. I'm in charge of figuring out how to break everything and then fix it. It's my, my primary goal around here. So customers broken ECUs, I'm in charge of RMAs. When they have a problem, they come in. Um, I'm in charge of testing, making sure we know what's wrong with it and getting them repaired and sent back to them. And then the other half of my role is in new product development. Um, we have our design engineer, Kevin, who's not on site, but he does prototypes like this one, sends them to me. I test them out here, figure out how to break them, figure out how we're going to test them in production and then report back to him when I find any issues with things. So he can fix that in the design. You might've heard this answer from the other guys, but first the customer and now an employee. We moved to the area about five years ago for my wife's career. Um, and I was in the automotive industry before that, but having fun with it. And after being stay at home dad for a little while and wanting to get back out there, it seemed like the obvious choice to work in the area. I get a lot of freedom in my job here and I like that. If I don't like how we've designed a product. I, there's nothing wrong with saying so. And um, we can change directions fast. And if I find problems, I, I have the resources here to be able to fix things fast. Unlike when I worked in larger industry and everything took six months for a small change. In the large scale, there's electrification of the on-road cars, but um, motorsport, is going to rem remain gas powered for quite a while, I think, even with growing electric motorsport. 
And as more fun cards age out from their primary roles, then that's where we come into the picture to help people turn their old fun cards into track cars and continue a second life for those vehicles. We got a lot of fun new products coming down the pipeline here shortly. I got prototypes all over my desk of things that are getting close to launch and I am really looking forward to getting these on the market. There's always gonna be something new coming out with from Amp BFI, so be excited about, about new products. I know I am. My name is uh, Ben Baruch. I am the engineering manager here at DIY Autotune and Amp EFI. I've always been into cars and race cars, and I was a customer well before I was uh, an employee. And I owned a, a number of products and figured out some of the products back when we were really heavy into, into selling kit ECUs. Figured out how to build and use and tune some of the, the kit ECUs and really, really enjoyed it. And uh, I used to pass their our old facility uh, that was about half an hour away in, in Swanee uh, on my way to work all the way in Atlanta. And I used to think, man, it'd be cool to work there because not only would I already be at work instead of fighting through rush hour traffic, but I'd get to play with race cars every day instead of doing boring stuff. And then uh, one day it just kind of happened to, to work out that way. Uh, there's a few things, but I think one of them is uh, there's a lot of variety. <laughs> And uh, I definitely don't do the same thing every day or every hour, you know, hour to hour on that day. And I could be working on some sort of race car, any type of race car. It could be something crazy like uh, an ice drag racing vehicle. It could be a Bonneville land, land speed vehicle. It could be something road race, autocross. It could be a boat. It could be anything. Uh, hour to hour, it's, it's, it's always different. And, Sometimes you make 30 horsepower and sometimes you make 2,800 horsepower, uh, but they're, they're all cool and different. I think our, one of our big differentiators is we actually not only design uh, our ECU products here in the U.S., but we manufacture them here in the U.S. And as far as I understand, nobody else uh, does that. In fact, I don't even know anyone that really does a lot of manufacturing in, in North America. There's very little of that. Everything comes out of, uh, a lot of it comes out of Asia these days or out of Eastern Europe. And uh, we actually have a huge manufacturing facility here uh, outside of Atlanta in Gainesville, Georgia. So the industry is, is definitely uh, changing. One of the things that we're seeing is uh, everyone is looking for more uh, emissions friendliness. They're more eco conscious and they're, they're working on, on providing tuning solutions that not only make more power, but also for maybe even the first time or somewhat environmentally friendly, uh, I think we're gonna see a transition into some, some newer technologies uh, as well. And of course, we're seeing uh, the electric takeover, uh, whether that is full electric vehicles or it's hybrid electric vehicles. And many of the, the current supercars and the upcoming supercars, they're, they're hybrids. Uh, I mean, get, look at the, the new Porsche GTS. They, they stuck an electric motor in it. The, the Corvette Zora, they stuck an electric motor uh, in it. So there's gonna be uh, possibly a lot, of, a lot of project cars that are coming out of people's backyards and people's uh, home shops. Maybe they're gonna start getting into the, some of that hybridization. That, that's probably what's coming. Uh, Ampify has been, been good to me. I've been here for 15 years. Uh, you know, I've, I've chosen to, to stay here amongst all sorts of other uh, opportunities. And, and, you know, it's because we do things right. We, we do things here in the U.S. Uh, we're not involved in, in private equity, venture capital. Uh, we could have offloaded everything into to Asia uh, and reduce our, our build costs. We haven't. Uh, instead, we're a group of people who build and drive race cars, who make products for other people who build and drive race cars. Uh, everyone's here because of a passion for race cars. Um, there are other ways to, to make money. There are other ways to make more money. Uh, if, if you buy a product from us, you buy a product from somebody who understands racing, somebody who actually races themselves and wants to be involved in the community.